Hey guys, welcome to iCar DIY. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your fog light. And trust me, it's really easy. Now in our box we have two fog lights, two drivers, one set of wire, four wire connector, two fuse tabs, two tapes, and a wiring diagram. For replacing the fog light, step one, we are going to take off the bumper, but not completely take off, only half is enough. Ok guys, I will use this tutorial to protect the light from scratch. You can see this side, when you take off the bumper, this side is really dangerous. It might scratch your headlight, so I'm gonna to use this tutorial in both sides to protect my headlight from scratch. Ok, here I will also put this, uh, something soft down here to protect my bumper to hit the ground. Now we can put the bumper off only liter, like this is enough. You can see the OEM fork light only has two screws. To take off the original fork light, we just need to unscrew it and pull off the power connector. After taking off the fork light, it looks like this. Use the OEM screws which we just have taken off to fasten our LED fork light. Ok, now here I have stick my LED driver near to the fork light with 3M tape. Here we are going to use the wiring diagram to connect the wire. Please go through the diagram completely. Otherwise, only miring might cause some of the fork light function unable to work properly. On the driver, we have three connectors and one yellow colored wire. This one you go to the fork light, this one needs to go to the fork light power, and this one needs to connect to the daytime running light. And you can see the yellow colored one needs to be connected to the turn signal. The yellow wire from the fork light driver needs to be connected to the turn signal post port. And here, I'm going to use the wire connector to connect it. But the best way is to slice the wire and connect it properly to avoid poor connection happen. And how to use the wire connector? You can see on the wire connector has two small holes and a silver checker. We just need to put the wire inside the hole and squeeze the silver checker hardly and fasten the wire connector. If you use the wire connector properly, it will look like this. On our wire harness, you can see there are two wires. One is blue and another one is green. The blue one needs to be connected to the side light post pole and the green one will go to fuse box. Slice the green wire and connect it to the fuse tab. You can see here I have connected the fuse tab to fuse box. Normally I will check the diagram on fuse box cover to find out the fuse who give ACC electricity. Usually I will try the wiper, cigarette, GRL, radio etc. because those fuses are safer. On this car, the cigarette is giving ACC electricity, so I will pull out the cigarette fuse, stick it to the fuse tab, then tap the fuse tab to fuse box. But please remember, we need to tap the fuse tab to the same place where we have pulled out the cigarette fuse. Pull out the fuse from fuse box and stick the fuse to fuse tab directly. Ok, after finish all those steps, now we can do some tests. Step 1, we will check the, if the daytime running light is working or not. Step 2, we need to turn on the side light and check whether the daytime running light illuminates got reduced or not. Step 3, we will check the turn signal function is working or not. Finally, step 4, we will check the fog light is working properly or not. If everything is working fine, then we can place the bumper and other things back. After finish the installation, we must adjust the fork light to a comfortable angle and don't do the adjustment intro like garage. Normally, I will adjust the fork light till it can illuminate about 30 meters. And remember, don't adjust it too high, it might affect others with you. Guys, if you have followed our instruction properly, then I believe the result will fulfill your satisfaction. Thank you for watching and see you next time.